G'day mate and welcome to New Cycle with me, GD. Now you might be asking me, GD, what is New Cycle? New Cycle is a brand new city builder that actually comes out in a couple of days as of the time of recording. And it's um city builder meets factory logistics game meets, well, a touch of like, you know, event based gameplay from the games like Ixion and Frostbug. Which means it's right up my alley, especially as soon as they said that they're going to add conveyor belts. Well, they actually have conveyor belts and they have trains. So I'm like, sign me up, sir. So we're going to be checking out this brand new game. Now, of course, uh, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to click new game. We're going to go with the campaign. Now, the campaign has, um, well, it's still in the early mode. It is still in early access. In fact, this is technically still an alpha build. It does release in a couple of days, like I said. But like I said, the devs were nice enough to give me a little bit of an early access. A preview look, you may say. Uh, the storyline is basically after a solar flare hits the world, um, the world goes to hell. As you can imagine, all the electricity is gone, all power is gone, all civilization is gone. So, um, yeah, you need to start off from scratch. We're going to start a new campaign. Now there are three levels or three maps currently. We're going to stick to the meadow because the tundra and the steppe are still a little bit of a work in progress. So we're going to stick to the meadow. Now, before we get too far into the game, I want to ask a quick favor, just a small favor, something I like to ask early in the video, because you, you can always have it back, but I'd like to just borrow a like. I like to borrow a like. It very, very much helps out with brand new discovery of brand new videos and also discovery of what well, brand new series. So with that out of the way, uh, let's choose our first steps. So we reached an unknown land after a long journey. Of course we did. Uh, it seems isolated and safe. We hope it will offer enough resources for a new start. Uh, let's choose the most suitable spot to settle in the area and guide us to set up base camp. Let's begin. So if we have a quick look at the map, and I do admit this is a complaint, I'd like to zoom out further. I'd really like to zoom out further. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an annoyance. Yes, after playing many city builders, but uh, we have a coastline. We have some trees, we have a couple of mountains, uh, and that's about it. There's more map over there, but we'll get to that eventually. Right at the moment, we need to start with the main city hall. Now, there's a couple of things I should mention. We have a grid system. Everybody loves a good grid system. But if I press tab, I can take it off the grid system, which does open you up to a lot of possibilities. Uh, we're going to stick with the grid system for now, and I'm going to be dropping this building right here. This is the main town hall which means we get a brand new message from our lovely people. So, now the governor of this little community, of course they left me in charge. Of course they left somebody overqualified in charge. It's been nearly half a century since the first solar flare, the initial moments of the catastrophe, where we lost the entire technological infrastructure, a means of global sourcing and almost everything that we could share as a civilization. In the following years, we were... The following years were humanity's darkest, having the wrestle with constant impossibility and despair. From battles fought with sticks and stones to nuclear wars, we ended up destroying ourselves, destroying ourselves what little the sun had left for us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, and civilization fell. Next. Everyone here was born into the new world and you ha you, you have to be their leader. The current flimsy shelter can't carry us far. We must rebuild everything from scratch with the efforts from those who remain. We can establish a suitable way of life. Sure, you left me in charge. It was going to be very suitable in the long run. Trust me. We need to rediscover our lost knowledge and explore our surroundings to create new possibilities. Most importantly, beyond nearly surviving, we have to find a way of securing the next generation, by whose time the world may not be habitable anymore. We don't know how we can preserve life as we know it, but we can at least help build something that we may call home. You may start zero or continue on your own. We're going to go with the tutorial, and the reason I'm going to go with the tutorial is it's going to introduce things in probably a better order than I will introduce them. I've already had a little quick play of the game. I actually streamed it a couple of days ago on Twitch. Of course, the link is on the screen if you want to see more New Cycle, because we'll be playing it again this weekend live, live. Uh, but, you know, we, we're going to just start with the tutorial. So, with the tutorial started, uh, we need to build a field, uh, field camp, gather some logs, and gather some stone. So we're going to grab a field camp and as you can see, resources start lighting up. So we can see sort of where there is wood, uh, where there is mm, stone, up uh, stone, uh, also where there's iron ore. Iron's going to be a little bit important later on in the game. For right now, we're going to be dumping this guy right, well, here seems to grab everything. Yeah, I want to grab all that iron plus all that stone and 
as much wood as they possibly can. Okay, so we're going to dump you down here. Now, the little people need to, well, leave the little base camp. Little people. Yeah, little people. Little people. I, again, another minor criticism. Minor criticism. You know, we do have photo mode where I can turn off the GUI and I can drop the camera lower. But I want to drop the camera and zoom all the way in at all times. Devs, please, please, always please, let us zoom into, you know, somebody's nose or something. But yes, uh, this is going to build our field camp. Now, we have a couple of game speed options. Game speed of 0 0.1. Because it's not quite pause time, but it's definitely time to think. And there are going to be times when, oh my gosh, do we need to think, and there's going to be a few things going on. Uh, we have game speed 2 and game speed 3. We have the current season. We have the number of people, also their morale. So we have 35 out of 35 people. Nobody's working. That's a problem. Uh, we have tier two people, tier three people. We'll get to that later. We have our basic resources. So logs, stone, iron ore, mushrooms, meat, water, simple meals, lumber, iron ore, basic tools, which we'll explore. Maybe not this episode. We'll see. Uh, leather, also clothes, uh, clay, and paper. So uh, that is our quick introduction. And I'm going to speed up time so we get this done. Okay. I need to gather up some amount of things. Uh, you can change the game speed by pressing the buttons. Cool. We're going to do that. So we need to gather up some wood, also some stone, 20 of each, or 20 and 10, to get the ball rolling. And this is just cycle one of nine. So we, we'll get through the tutorial and we'll see how much further we get. It all depends on how much the tutorial slows me down, because I need to actually tick off these boxes. All right, tutorial's been completed. Next next there we go okay uh so now we need to make a lumber mill lumber mill is going to let us turn our wood into uh something a little bit important being actual lumber uh so we're going to dump that right beside because there's no reason not to the trees fall over but i haven't actually checked to see if this affects the amount of available resources that um exist i do know that if i cancel production on a building this costs 24 logs if i place it and cancel it straight away before anybody carries resources there, I only get a 50% refund. So that I found interesting. I haven't tried doing it in pause mode. This might something we might try. Okay, uh, this brings us up the production for buildings. So this building actually has multiple options. For the moment, it's gonna be done wood because I don't have much other option. The other product we don't have access to. This is gonna be our production calculator. Uh, it depends on how much labor we have, how efficient labor is, so on and so forth. And also we can see it's not connected to the road. Road has a minus 30% penalty to the overall workforce. And as you can see, my normal, my, my workers currently, because we're in special, special tutorial land, uh, have a standard rate of one. So we need to produce 30 lumber and you, oh, there you go. There you go. You're now set up and ready to go. Okay. With my lumber, when my lumber rolls in, I can actually use that to make some roads. Roads are going to remove that debuff. You might notice that this does have a debuff for not having a road, whereas this doesn't. If I put this over here, well, beside our settlement, then I wouldn't have that debuff. Well, I would until I connected the two with a road. Yeah, everything needs to be connected back to the main building for it to count as a road. Yeah. All right, as soon as this is done, uh, we should be unlocking the... Gathering camp. So the gathering camp is going to be very much similar to the field camp. It's going to show us resources we can get. We have meat, mushrooms. Got to love some magic mushrooms. I'm sorry, I, I meant special mushrooms. Special mushrooms found in the forest. Yep, and also fish. And step two complete. Come on, step three. Is it going to be that or what? Uh, build a... Oh, no, it's going to be build a road. Okay, never mind. Build a road. Uh, can I get a road between... Oop, oop. Oh, I... Turn on a layer. I don't want layers on. We're not there yet. Okay. Uh, dusty road from here to here. Now, as you can see, these have arrows on the side. I don't know if the arrows actually matter for transportation. And that's like where the road connection is. But it has a road. Also, we have a group of settlers. And this is one of the types of events we're going to get fairly regularly. Uh, we're going to accept them. It's a couple of extra people. Okay. That's fine. I accept I need to feed them. Yeah. And they're going to want water. There's lots of things people are going to want yeah it'll be fine i uh okay so we need to build a well and produce some water so again resources water we can have a couple of options you can sort of see why i intentionally put this right here i'm going to throw that right there so uh that should get built well wells automatically harvest water they don't require any people they just require to be built 
So we're going to end up putting in a couple of wells in the not too distant future. After I'm outside Doyle then, actually. What does the well cost? Log and stone. No, we're not going to wait. Uh, we're going to put a second one. Uh, main town is there. We're putting you... Well, right there will do. Uh, resource uh, production. No, uh, residence. Okay. Can I build my road through to here? Cool. And we're going to get a second well up and running. Okay. Uh, we need to gather some mushrooms. So as I said, uh, we'll go into the gathering camp. Gathering camp. And we're going to be putting you here. Come on. I want to touch that fish. I can't get the fish and the mushroom. Okay, fine. We're going to go on this side then. I'm going to accept the two mushrooms, the two meat, and the one fish. And we'll save that one fish for later. Uh, can I grab a road? I'm going to drag the road through to here. Yep. Uh, and get you built in hopefully no time whatsoever. Because technically we're not feeding them. Eh, they'll probably be okay for a little while. But, you know, eventually we need to probably feed the people. Yep. 20 odd percent. Okay, and you're up and running, which now means I have 192 water per day. Uh, like I said, these just run. There's no settings on them. There's no nothing. They do deplete the resources, sort of, eventually, over time. Yeah, we'll get back to that. That's, that's something I'm going to explain a little bit later. Uh, but yes, we're going to grab some mushrooms. I need to grab 40 mushrooms. After I grab 40 mushrooms, I'm going to need to make a soup kitchen. I'm going to need to do research. Okay. All right. Step five is complete. Research time? One research time? Ah. Put a soup kitchen, do the research, produce some meals. So research is over here. I'm not sure why it's the share button, but we're going to share the research. Uh, we're going to grab basic construction. As you can see, it's going to require some knowledge. Now, knowledge we make automatically, depending on how many people we have. I don't know how people create knowledge. But we're just going to roll with it. It's also going to cost us some lumber. I'm guessing they're experimenting on how to build a wooden bowl. That's the only thing I can assume. And that'll give us a stockpile, a soup kitchen, and the ability to make simple meals. So we need to click this. It's going to take 24 hours. That's okay. We can jump forward in time. With that now done, we can do production. We're going to grab a soup kitchen. And I'm going to drop this right here. Because, well, it doesn't really matter where I drop it. Uh, also... No, I wanted to do a stockpile. We might wait for the stockpile, because I don't remember what the next two buttons of the tutorial are. We've done food. We're now doing winter, which is great. Yeah, minus 20% health. Uh, mushroom gathering halted. That's a problem. Uh, one thing I will mention is, yes, I have three workers assigned here to get mushrooms, but there's no mushrooms currently because it's winter. So it's something you need to keep in mind that, yeah, you may have problems grabbing resources. Uh, so we're going to set mushrooms and we're going to set four workers and therefore they're going to make 29 mushrooms per day, which means we should be able to bounce through this fairly quickly. Uh, can I also uh, field camp? Uh, I want to put you here. This is going to end up being future building zone. So, um, yeah, if I can get rid of that rock now, that would be awesome. And we'll give you a road as well, because I'm that nice. Okay. Uh, actually, I think the next one's housing. And uh, it's probably research, then housing. Okay. Step six complete. And, uh, no, it's probably storage. Okay, explore population management. Okay, uh, population management is this button up here. So this gives us details about our population, okay? We have a couple of important things, their morale, their efficiency, blah, 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 blah. Uh, also the different classes. So we have the worker class, the craftsman class, the special class. Workers are going to be your common people. Uh, craftsmen are a little bit more specialized, a little bit more... Mm, uh, they're a little bit more productive, but only on certain tasks. Specialists is, you know, the same thing, just made a whole, a whole lot uh, higher. Also, I want to mention that um, as they go up in classes, so do their requirements. They're going to require more food, more water, more tools, more clothes, better housing, the whole list goes on. Uh, we can see how many people we have. So I have uh, 37 adults, four children, 19 people don't have any jobs. 
though I've got no sick currently, but I'm sure I can change that all, to, uh, all too quickly. We can also see how our distribution is set up. So at the moment, they are on not full rations, not half rations, but quarter rations uh, for both food and water. And this means that their efficiency is low and their the actual workforce is low as well. I could change these. We can see, you know, increase the chance of sickness. It uh, drops their morale. Their, their morale is dropping continuously. Also, this is how long their workday is. You know, one times a normal day, time and a quarter, what time and a half, so on and so forth. And also the efficiency affects every single job they're doing. So as we can see, uh, well, technically we're still in tutorial mode, so it's locked at 100, but yes. Okay, uh, set r rations to regular and keep them for two days. So we're gonna change you to regular and you, I'm actually changing to double because I have a whole lot of water. Uh, 37, yeah, okay, so it's just telling, it's telling me how many people, but if we hover over this, we can see our current consumption is 37, I'm pretty sure this is not going to update for a whole day, uh, where are we, simple meals, it was 7 per day, which was quarter size rations, then I'll update as soon as the clock ticks over, which is going to be a little while, a little while, uh, but once it ticks over, we should, why is my water so low? I might need another water one. Water well. Okay. Uh, also, we have end of year progress. Uh, uh, okay. Place track everything and your settlement uh, be overview panel. Should be our priority to find solution to current conditions, examine factors affecting public health, blah, 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 blah. So uh, that is this one. Yes. Okay. So this gives us details about everything. Everything about the people. The individual people, we can see none of them has, have houses, but some have work. Uh, each individual structure. What's wrong with you? Warnings, hat. Oh, because you're not set up. Well, that's why. Uh, materials, and also what regions we've found. There's, the regions are much later in the game. Much later in the game. Okay, uh, so that should complete our tutorial, which means we can freely build. Okay, uh, okay. The tutorial's quick and quick and easy. I like a quick and easy tutorial. So we're going to be jumping in and grabbing a few things. Uh, first off, stockpile. I want to be able to store more resources. So we're going to throw you here, seems good. At the same time, I'm going to set you up to grab wood. Uh, well, all the rock and a little bit of wood. Uh, we're also going to resources, wells. Can I throw another well? There's none over here. There's one here and one there. Can I get you in the middle? No. Okay, fine. We're going to leave that well for now because there is another well that I would like to grab uh, here. Okay. And also residences. Shack. Unresearched. Okay. Can I get a living standards? Yes. I'd like a living standard so we can get a shack. Cool. I'm going to start off with uh, shack construction. Also back into wells. Can I grab a well here? Yeah, wells, as I said, all the resources on the map are potentially finite. Not exactly finite, but potentially finite. Yeah, they will replenish a certain amount over a certain amount of time. But if you remove all the resources by fully mining them out, well, then they're not going to come back. I'm going to get more road and we're going to... Nope, I want to go the other direction. Uh, road uh, there... Two. I don't have that many resources. I don't know that, that much stone. Okay, we need more stone. I have three on three. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yep. Yeah. Highlights for you. Uh, zero. Two people died from disease, disaster, lack of water or food. Two new people joined. Population went up by two. Uh, we made one new development, eight new structures, and they replenished by about eighty-eight percent based on yearly precipitation. So, yes, uh, some things replenish, other things don't. Going to be have to be very careful about that. But we now have living standards, and the next upgrade requires me to have 40 people. So what I want to do is I want to throw down houses. A shack, does it tell me? Uh, it does, 10 people, 10 people. And I have 37. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, uh, 4. Well, I actually only need 4. So we're going to start with 4 and... I'm going to put in my little road to about the, the, there, there, there. 
cool. So I need more people, which means I either need to wait for births to happen, which is viable. We could do that. Or potentially uh, other settlers from the unknown lands of out there somewhere will pop by and say hello. Uh, okay, you're running, you're running. So that should bring our water production through the roof. Good. Because as long as they have high morale, they have high efficiency. So, uh, yes, I want to make sure that, you know, we try and keep things as topped up as possible. Uh, we have the soup kitchen. We can't unlock the others yet. But I can throw in field camps. Uh, okay, it's all wood. That's all wood. Just explore around. Look for some resources. That's wood and iron. So, can I throw you... We got a road here, so let's go with about there. Uh, can I throw in? Oh, stone, stone, stone. Uh, that's going to be important later. Can I throw you here? And what do we have on this corner? We have some stone and some wood. Uh, you're going to be a very heavy on the stone mining and very low on the wood mining or wood cutting. Okay, we'll throw you in there as well. Uh, I don't need to hook up roads. I don't even need to get them up and running for the moment. They will have a penalty if they haven't been used in a long time, but that's okay. Uh, it just means they're going to have a efficiency deficit when they first start. So I now have 39 people. I need to have the 40th to get this done, and that will let us unlock the next age, so to speak. Also, at the same time, it will let us uh, well continue with research, and that's going to be very important. So a group of travelers appeared near our settlement. If we click on you, oh, we can see here they are. And then we just need them to get a little bit closer. Yeah, I can't click on them yet. Get a little bit closer and then we'll get a pop-up and then we can say, hey, do we want to let them join us or not? If they join us, well, that completes our mission and we get over 40 people, which probably means let's just throw in another shack because our population numbers are about to go up. If you walk faster, how slow do you walk? People. Yeah, like I said, I want to I want to zoom in closer. I want to see them. I want to say hi to them. Okay, so we need them to come over here. And we should. I don't really want a road on that side. Can I build a road on this side? I know it doesn't line up, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, group of strangers. Yes, please. Uh, I would like to accept them. It... This group of wanderers. Ah, plus two. Okay. So that gets us up to 41. And that's why we have the new house up and running. So these have all been filled. And that means tomorrow, because all these things are done in the morning. There we go. We've reached the new Iron Age. Cool. That gives us uh, some potential unlocks. You don't get these straight away, but they're potentially things we can grab pretty much straight away. So research-wise, uh, I can give, I can get taverns, I can get hunting, uh, I can get metal uh, working techniques, and I can get a power grid. As you require iron and you require tools, we're going to get metal working first. Tavern is important. Don't get me wrong. We'll get a tavern soon, but we'll grab metal working first. Okay. Uh, I have plenty of lumber. Uh, I have 19 idle people, but we're about to use some of them. Uh, you, no, you had access to iron, right? Yes, you had access to iron. So we're going to have you do iron, which then means, there we go. Uh, you're going to start grabbing iron ore. We're going to take our iron ore and run it into a forge, which I'm going to build... A decent way away, actually. What if it, oh, no, we're going to do a smith first. And then we're going to do a forge. And those pop-ups can be patient. Uh, we'll pop that there. We'll put in our dusty road from here to here. Okay. All right. People are unhappy. Let's start with... Well, you need iron. Okay. Let's start with you. Okay. So message from the community chief we can now process metals uh, you can give us the means to make tools of our own and we can see uh, that we can see to our daily tasks we can work without tools too but it'll tire us physically and mentally and more often 
we have to work with our tools more likely we are to make mistakes and cause accidents. So I can say, let's do it or not now. If I say, let's do it, they're happy. If I say, not now, your community will grind, uh, grit their teeth, but accidents can pose a serious threat to community. To avoid problems ranging from simple injuries to devastating fires and explosions, explosions, a little bit early for explosions, uh, try not to distribute less basic tools than what is needed. So let's do it. Uh, okay, so we need to produce 65 basic tools. We'll get right on that after we deal with losing hope. So the unstable living conditions are about to consume us. We should strive to keep a close, uh, close eye on people's morale. Uh, don't mean if we don't maintain balance, we can do nothing but uh, watch our home disintegrate. Mm, do something to improve morale within a few days. We can do better. Increase the working class morale above 40. There's nothing we can do. We're gonna. I'm. I'm pretty sure I can do this. I'm pretty sure as our morale is, well, 50. Okay, but once you have tools, you'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna go with regular amounts of tools and we're gonna get you built and then you built. Uh, at the same time, research. Can I do that one? Because the other ones require iron and stuff, which I don't have. I'm gonna select the resource. We're gonna put three of you to start converting our iron ore into iron ingots. And if I hover over this, we make 36 per day. How many we're using? Very good question. Not sure. Have to wait till tomorrow for the cycle to click over and then that'll give us our daily our daily calculation. Yes. Uh, 33. Cool. I need more. Uh, we need better shelters. What? Build she thra three shacks. Okay, fine. We'll build three shacks. Everybody's housed, but sure. Have three more. You're happy? Cool. All right. Uh, so you're building, you're about to be built, you'll start making tools, and I need more iron ore. You are gathering iron ore at a rate of 36 per day, in theory, and you are consuming it at a rate of, well, 36 per day. But, up, ooh, that's a stone block deposit. But just click on, click on you, and, no, nope, I click on... Okay, first off, select a resource and put all five workers in there. Click on you, field camp, next field camp. You can't do iron, next field camp. You can't do iron, next field camp. You can do iron, go grab me some iron. Cool. Uh, all right, upgrade the main hall. So, more secure shelter. Uh, Chief, a community, community center made up of just a few tents doesn't feel very secure. We can build something with our resources and crafting capabilities that won't topple in a gust of wind. Let's assign some resources to take up take steps to strengthen the roofs overhead, uh, though it may not please the eye. Main whole structure we put under construction to be upgraded. Sure, let's do that. All right, we completed the housing objective. We made three houses, not sure why. Uh, and now the main little shack needs some stone, some lumber and some iron ore. We're on the process of getting the iron ore sorted. Uh, I actually think you guys are maxed out. Here you are. Okay, and we have a harsh winter. Oh, yay, just what I needed. Okay, can I do production? Can I get another forge? I'm gonna throw that there. Okay, with that done, that done, research, we've also gonna unlock the tavern, so we'll get a tavern in just a second. Meanwhile, with some of my tools, we're gonna to unlock hunting, which gives us a bit more bride diet. Uh, we also need a tavern, and a tavern needs to be placed near the people. But people like going to the tavern. I can't imagine why. Uh, I'm going to put you here. Okay. This is four tiles wide. The house are three tiles wide. So that's three tiles. That's three tiles. So if I put you there, that covers all our houses currently. So we're going to dump that there. Okay. Uh, we completed... I lost the mouse. There it is. Okay. We completed the upgrade in the manhole. And we also completed the objective of basic tools. And you are actually going to go under construction right now, which leads us to a new problem. Uh, it needs power. Um, our houses also need power. So, yes, uh, we need to go into research, and we desperately need to unlock the power grid, which is going to need some iron. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, yep, yep, we can see a problem. Uh, can I make iron, please? And is, is storage really full? No, everything's just unhappy because you were in the middle of an upgrade. Okay, with you going through and finishing your upgrade, you do make some power, but it's not enough to keep the tavern alive. So uh, we need to finish that objective as well, which was increase the morale. What, morale's back up to 7. No, efficiency 70. We're at 43 morale. Yeah, 
uh, we have not enough power. It's a very harsh winter. And oh, 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 we've got plus 20 morale because I did something they were happy with. Okay, we're going to start getting windmills done. Now, windmills have, well, this overlay here, which is the wind overlay. I want to bring my windmills as far forward as possible. As far, nope. Yeah, as far forward as possible. As far, oh, there. I really wish I could see which grid tiles I could build in and not build in. Okay, we're gonna pause. I can't. Okay, so when the game's paused, you can't build. Uh, that's the tiles I want. Yeah, look at how far this way we can go. They're all invalid, but. Okay, so I wanna go to. Yeah. Okay, utilities. Windmill. Uh, yeah, I can go straight back from there. Okay. And, uh, you're gonna give me... I don't know how much wind. Uh, harvests energy and creates wind. Cool. As you can see, I'm not maxing out the amount of wind I have in, well, this particular location. But I'm designing it to make sure I can put in a lot of wind. Uh, we're gonna put one there, one there, and one there. Okay. Then the people will hopefully go over and get that done. Meanwhile, to get to the next level of technology... I need to get up to 50 people. So, uh, we need to have 50 people. In the meantime, I still have four people that are idle. We did unlock the ability to start uh, grabbing meat and fish. So, we're going to put one person on meat and one person on fish. We're going to cut back our mushrooms just a little bit. And we're going to throw down, when I find it, uh, the soup kitchen. So, we're going to throw in a second soup kitchen. Uh, let's go with, uh, that rock's in the way. Rock will eventually go away. Uh, fine, we'll just have a crossroad of soup kitchens. Okay, so you're giving me air out, not enough resources, because I'm all out of mushrooms, so I'm gonna cut back on the amount of people. Uh, I was consuming 30 per day, I'm only making whatever. I'm also, yeah, borderline on food, so, yeah. All right, with our windmills up and running, we have plenty of power, we have... Five new developments, eight new structures, no significant events. Most of the resources came back. Uh, well, there were five births, five births, and total population increased by six. Not bad. Five births, two people, six. Maths is hard. Maths is hard. I'm, I'm the first one to admit maths is hard. Okay. So, once you're up and running, uh, we're going to be having you. Actually, we'll swap you straight away. Uh, can I have you do me? And then. We're going to have you do fish. Also, I should mention, because I, I remembered it was here somewhere, but I couldn't find out where the button is. If you press Alt, you can get some overlays. So you can see what products things are making. Press it again. You can see how many workers I've got. I want to put two in here, I hope. Of course. Of course. Did I not mention random events? Did I not mention random events? Uh, first time account since we settled here, it hurts even more. Uh, Mike? Lawrence died due to catastrophe. Yeah, he was hit by lightning. Well, uh, clear the debris. Uh, we're going to throw in another soup kitchen. Okay, you're doing meat. Uh, you're going to do fish after you're built. And, uh, we're going to find, uh, well, now the eight people I need, no longer seven, uh, in, well, the next episode. The next episode. I need to leave this here. I think we've had a good look so far, but I want to look more. I definitely want to look more. I also have a small morale problem because somebody got hit by lightning. You know, it's, it's a one in a thousand. It's one in a thousand chance. One in a hundred thousand chance they get hit by lightning. And what do I have? What First episode. First episode, what do I get? I get hit by lightning. Uh, but we're going to set you up to meat, fish. Uh, can I get two of you, and we should be okay on food. Hmm. We might have to vary this up a little bit. Uh, also, click that one. Yep. All right, this is where I'm going to leave it. Uh, especially with the scout coming up, uh, more, 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 more things that I need to deal with. Yep, like I said, it's an event-based game. There are a whole bunch of events we need to deal with. But, like I said, I'm going to leave this here for our very first video. If you want to see more, I do recommend you hit the subscribe button. We'll be coming back to a whole lot more of New Cycle in the not-too-distant future because I want to get to belts. I want to get to trains. I want to get to all that good stuff. So, uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you back here in, well, the very next video.
Thanks for watching. Bye.